Hello everyone, it is almost noon, so I'm probably going to start making lunch right away, but I have had a pretty productive morning already. I obviously went to go get some groceries, I had a little bit of a workout, I showered. For today's overall plan, I don't have much going on. I am hoping to read later today. I do want to try to read a whole book. And I want to do some like home decor stuff. I've been kind of making a collage around my vanity makeup desk area. So I want to possibly add more to that today. And then maybe tonight I think I want to try to either watch a comfort movie or maybe watch a new TV show or something. I have a bunch of shows that I need to catch up on but also a lot of new ones to start. Today is just going to be a very relaxing, chill day. I also feel like I should paint my nails at some point too, because they're kind of long. I haven't really been feeling that good mentally again. I was starting to feel really good at like the beginning of the month and last weekend, it kind of just went downhill for me. I'm trying to like pick myself up and do things, but I just have no energy. I have no energy, I have no strength, I feel really tired, and it probably is due to like my diet or something. I don't know, I, I did buy lots of vegetables and stuff today and I'm basically just gonna have like a steak and salad and have a lot of salad. And in my last vlog, I said that I was going to do some reading challenges this month and stuff, or do some like reading vlogs. I tried to do one last weekend and it did not work out. Um, I am thinking maybe next weekend I'll do one, but I just don't feel like filming. And again, I'm really excited for September and October and all the content that I have then. I kind of feel like I need to wait to film, if that makes sense. Like, it's a waiting game for me. But I think at the end of the month, like, I will possibly have a vlog where I decorate my house for fall and Halloween. I'm very excited about all of that. So that I'll probably do towards the end of the month. But yeah, I don't really know how many bookish videos I'll put out this month because I'm just not really feeling like it. I was trying to think of what sit down videos to film because I was going to try to film some this weekend and I only really had one that I was going to film but I just thought about it and I was like I am not in the mood to film at all. Like I'm in the mood to film vlogs because I feel like it's really easy and I don't necessarily have to read or like talk about a book. I mean obviously I will later but there's less pressure I guess and I think for reading vlogs and like reading challenges it's just a little bit more difficult because I feel like I have to read the book as fast as possible, review it, do all of that and I think it's just difficult with my days off and stuff and I don't know I think starting next week I work a lot more so I don't know but I'm trying to just take care of myself, take it easy and not force myself to do things because I know if I force it I won't like the outcome.
So I think it's been around two days since I filmed my last clip. I honestly didn't read for the rest of that day and I kind of was in a bad mood and I just didn't really feel like continuing the vlog and I don't know, I just hate always being negative or feeling like I'm negative. So I just decided not to continue the vlog that day and I haven't really read for the past like three or four days so I haven't felt like picking up the vlog and talking about what I'm reading but I did do a little bit of shopping the other day I went thrifting and I bought a few things and then today I did some other shopping with my mom I have some clothing and some shoes to share with you I think I'll start with the thrift items so I went to value village and I actually had a pretty successful time I got like five items which I feel like is pretty good so the first item I got is this little gold basket it's just like a circular little basket and it was $2.99 it does say solid brass handmade made in India so I feel like this is pretty legit it does seem pretty sturdy and everything the handle like doesn't move but i just think it's really cute and i definitely could put this on my shelves in my living room and then we have this other little brass gold item this is a candle holder and it has a little place to like rest your thumb which is really cute i believe this also was donated by the same person because it has like the same tag at the bottom solid brass handmade made in india so yeah very happy with this i did take the price off of this but i believe it was also 2 dollars and then i got this which is kind of similar to another item i already have but this is a glass little heart jar whoops it is so cute it's literally glass and it's in sh the shape of a heart i don't know if you can really see because of the lighting but it's a heart isn't it so cute and then you just open it and have two little dishes this was also $2.99 and this is actually similar to another item that i have which i have displayed on this bookshelf but it's i have like a circular one so i have this one that i also bought from value village so i have this like little jar glass jar collection i just think these are so cute and then i bought this beautiful candle holder this again is glass and it's just very very unique and just special and i thought it was really pretty so i grabbed this it was 4.99 which is kind of expensive i just realized it's kind of sharp on like some of the corners here there was another one but i only really needed one so i grabbed this and then the most special piece that i found at valley village was this wall candle holder so it's just a mirror with gold detailing and there's the candle holder part right here and then this part i don't know what this is i think i'm just gonna take it off i have a feeling that there was a glass here or something and somebody just took it off or it was broken or whatever but luckily i can unscrew it in the back so i'm gonna unscrew these little things here but you can just hang it in the wall there and i believe yeah it's an old party light item which my mom used to have party light parties all the time when i was younger and yeah this is just really really beautiful i'm definitely gonna put this in my living room somewhere i'm very very excited to have this because i've been searching for wall candle holders and candlestick things so i'm glad that i finally have one and i'm definitely going to keep looking for more so i have a couple of clothing items from arden american eagle winners and then i have a shoe from call it spring and then a shoe from walmart I'll start with the arden stuff i have one dress that i bought it's a very like long dress and it has kind of like the I think it's called like a cowl neck or something it's just a very long kind of flowy dress it hits kind of like up below my knee a little bit and i don't know i love dresses like these i just think it's really easy to style them it was regular 26.90 i don't remember how much i paid for it because i lost the receipt but yeah i bought this and then i bought two skirts 
which I really, really love. The first one is this very, I want to say like 60s vibe and it's just pretty like long skirt. It's not like super long, but I think it goes way past my knees um, and it just has kind of like an elastic band and this was $29.90. And then the other skirt I got was just this black like silk skirt and it has beautiful lace detailing at the bottom which I also love. I literally do not own any long skirts so these were like the two that I found and that I liked. This one was $24.90 but yeah I'm really happy to have some skirts to my collection. I always think a black skirt is very much needed and then having just like a fun pattern one is always great too. And then the last thing I got from Arden is overalls. Sorry, I'm also not trying any of this on. I'm just really not in the mood to do like a try on haul. So sorry about that. But I got a new pair of overalls, which I'm very, very happy about because I have a pair that I really don't like and I've had them for years and they have like cuts on the like knee area. When I bought them, that was a very popular trend in jeans to have like cuts and slits where the knees are and stuff and I genuinely hate that look. I just think it looks so messy. So I finally bought a new pair and I love them. These were $59.90 and I bought them online so I did get a 10% off coupon I think so it wasn't that expensive. It was pretty much like regular price but yeah it's a very just basic overall and it has like kind of this interesting little like cut on the knee area which I really like and then it just has like wide legs which I also really really like and it kind of has I wouldn't say like cargo style but you know like it has this on the side and there's actually quite a few pockets and stuff too and I just really really love this I got it in a size of medium and it fits me perfectly I am very, very happy with this because I just feel like overalls also should be kind of baggy. Like they shouldn't fit you like super tight because then I think it just like looks weird on me personally, I feel like. So I am very happy to finally have a new pair of overalls. And then I bought some Halloween t-shirts from American Eagle. They had this like wonderful collection that came out. I think there's still stuff available. They might be like restocking stuff, but I pretty much bought this like when it first came out. But I got four t-shirts from the collection. I'm very happy to have all of these because funny enough, I don't own any Halloween clothing. I don't even own like Halloween decorations. I have started buying some finally and I'm gonna do a whole video on that, but I am very excited for this spooky season. So I got this shirt, which is a baby tee, and it says spooky season on it. It's really cute. It's kind of giving like vintage 90s vibes, and I just thought it was super cute. This was $24.95. This is part of like their oversized collection, so I just got an extra small small, and this was $39.95. It's just these four skeletons dressed up going trick-or-treating. Like how cute is that? I'm obsessed. I think that's so cute. And then I got this green one, which is two skeletons in like their little pumpkin patch. I thought this one was super adorable as well. This was the same price. And then I got this last one, which is a beautiful purple Snoopy shirt. I thought this one was super cute as well. And I'm really excited to wear these in September and October. And then I just actually got two random things from winners. I went there today. I bought some Halloween stuff, which I'm going to save for a later video. But I did buy two things that weren't. Halloween. So the first one is a pair of socks or a pack of socks. I have like little, what is this called? Like little frills. Oh, lettuce. It's a like a little lettuce edge. I really wanted socks like these to go with my new shoes, which I'll show you in a second. So I got these from Winners. They were $12.99 and it's a pack of five. And then this is really, really random, but I really want to get into 
crystals and like witchy stuff I guess so I bought this it is a zodiac crystal collection I'm a Pisces so I got the water one I'm a Scorpio moon as well so I feel like this is perfect and I guess it's just like curated crystals for my sign um I don't really know what any of these crystals are but you can look them up for yourself I guess but yeah I'm sure there's people that say like maybe don't buy these from like stores but I don't know I I I'm gonna do some research figure things out but I just saw this and I was like I feel like I need to get this and this was $12.99 and then I have two pairs of shoes the first one I got from Walmart I get a lot of like knockoffs from Walmart because they're cheap and I mean they look very similar to the like originals so I got these like knockoff little Uggs these are by the brand Time and True I got them in a size 7 and they were $24 and yeah they're just like the little short fake Uggs these are really cute and I always get my knockoff Uggs from Walmart I used to get the tall ones and I had a pair for like several, several years, but I had to get rid of them last year because the soles were like falling apart. So I finally invested in some new ones and I like the shorter ones. I think they're cute and they're definitely a vibe for the fall time. And then I got some shoes from Call It Spring. I've been wanting some really nice loafers, but I didn't want to spend a crazy amount of money, but I still wanted them to be comfortable and nice. So I went to Call It Spring and they have a bunch of different loafers. I was definitely overwhelmed with like the kind of style that I wanted, but I settled for the Dyvon Dive style. Um, I'll just show you that if you are curious. That's the style that I got. I got them in a size 7, which normally I'm a size 8 in shoes. But for some reason today, I've just been buying size 7. So I don't know what is up with that. But yeah, these are also 100% vegan, which is great. And it says it's a bed foam, which means breathable, eco-friendly, and durable. I don't know. Um, I also did get these cushions because I have pretty like weak and thin heels even when I just wear like runners sometimes the back of my feet hurt I mean I probably could have found them at Walmart for way cheaper this is like seven dollars <laughs> so these are the shoes they have a little bit of a heel which I like because I tried on a pair that didn't have a heel and they just looked kind of weird on me. Like I wasn't really vibing with them. So I got these. They have like this black chain across the shoe. I was looking at some that had gold because I do feel like gold looks better on shoes, but they weren't as high. And I just felt like this looked better on my feet. And again, I grabbed a size seven, which is so weird. I tried on an eight first, way too big. Tried on a seven and a half, still too big, like the back was like kind of popping out when I walked. So I grabbed the seven. I just love these shoes. I think they're so cute. I can't wait to wear them with everything because I feel like they are such a cute shoe. Like I could definitely dress them down, but also like dress them up. I could wear them with jeans. I could wear them with even my overalls. I'm sure I could like dress them up a little bit or even wearing them with a dress and also with these socks. Like how cute. How cute would these look with these little like socks in here oh, i just think that's adorable so yes i'm very very happy with these cannot wait to wear them i also kind of want to go back because they have like these cute like mary jane style shoes which i also think would be cute for the fall and stuff but i'm happy i have some like new fall shoes because i genuinely don't have fall shoes i have sandals and sneakers and then my winter boots and that's it. I don't have like, you know, these or like these. I definitely want to try to up my shoe game as well as my jacket game. It's kind of crazy that I live in Canada and I don't have very many jackets like at all. These were 
$69.99 and then the yeah insole or the heel cushion thing was $7.49 so I paid like $86 for all of this which I feel like is pretty good for some nice shoes and again I don't really buy shoes so very happy with these so that was it for my little haul I don't know if I'm going to add anything on to this video I might vlog later this might be a little collective vlog I'm not sure but I really haven't been reading so I don't really have any updates reading wise I have just been kind of trying to take care of my body and eating better and all of that I don't really want to get into it because it's just a little stressful but I have been dealing with some weight issues so I'm trying to eat better and um, it's been kind of taking a toll on me mentally um, which also means it's like harder for me to read because I just I'm struggling to focus like always so you know how it is I am gonna try to pick up maybe some paranormal in the next few days to try to get myself ready for September. I also wish I could say that I was watching a lot of TV and movies, but I haven't been doing that either. <laughs>